What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we caught ourselves a high tide over in the Shoal Cave. I don't know why. why. Why does it always happen to me? But yeah, it is finally time for us to go to the Moss Deep City Gym because we need to take care of business over there. Now, I did make a few switches onto my team because, well, these girls are no joke. They are literally no joke. Now, if you go to the man that's ever, the only man that's ever believed in you, he's gonna be like, yo, how's it going, champ to be? The gym leaders here use psychic type Pokemon. If you go up against the, uh, go up against them with fighting type or poison type Pokemon, they'll do horrible damage to your Pokemon. They'll come at you with an outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you'll need to show them how tight you are with your Pokemon. Go for it. Oh, I'm very tight. I am super tight with my Pokemon. And, well, we made a few switches. Shadow Eye and uh, Thunderball are back in the in the fold for this walkthrough right here, or for this, uh, for this episode, but we're going to be doing it. Okay, what's up? Battles hinge on the strength of your spirit. The weak-spirited will never win. Hmm. Okay, the weak-spirited will never win. And here we go, taking on Psychic Type, Pre or Psychic Preston. And, well... Let's go with Thunderball. It has been a while. Alrighty. Thunderball. Let's do it. Get it. Let's get this. Discharge attack. Here it is. Thunderball does its trick with a discharge attack. And just like that. Bam. We defeated him. Okay. Alrighty. So that's one down. Many more to go. Now if you press on to this... This will say uh, this will change the location of those dots, and uh, well, you'll be able to move around freely now. Let's see. If you go right here, you're gonna be floating back to the uh, the man, the only man that's ever believed in you. And well, let's go right here and float away. Now, there's quite a few trainers right here, so we we are gonna be we are gonna be getting uh, quite a few uh, you know battles with different kinds of Pokemon. So let's go back to Leviathan right here and see what this psychic is all about. I can't get enough of the way you go floating up softly in this gym. Hmm. You can't, or you won't. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on another uh, psychic. His name is Joshua. Don't know why it's Joshua instead of Josh. But here we go, Leviathan, ready to go. Yes, look at this serpent right here. Okay, let's go with a surf attack. And, wow, psychic attack really hits us right here. So here comes the surf attack. And just like that, Kadabra is getting its butt kicked. So let's go one more time with a Dragon Pulse. And this guy wanting to do some kind of a re recover attack right here. So here we go. Dragon Pulse for the win. And Kadabra is not going down easily. So let's go with one more. Holy crud. Okay, so yeah, Kadabra is not going to let go that easily. Okay, so here we go. Dragon Pulse again. And damn you, Kadabra, you're not gonna you're not gonna go down easily. So here we go, surf attack, and here comes a telekinesis. That will lower or that will float us up, but here goes a surf attack, and that will defeat Kadabra. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And there we go. Leviathan grows to level 45. And well look at this. Tommy JDF grows to level 58. Here comes Medicham. I think this is a perfect time to use Tommy JDF for just one specific thing. And, well, let's go. This Pokemon is awesome as hell. Let's do this. Brave Bird attack. And here he goes. He's floating up, and he's about to finish this Pokemon off. Look at this. Super effective. What now? Okay. All righty. And, well, we're getting some more points right there. Thunderball gets to level 55. And that right there is how you win a match. You win a few matches right there. Okay, so let's see. Press this button right here. This will not light... Oh, this will light up a little bit more. And, well, we're going to we're gonna have to take on this lady. But I guess that's the exit way. And, well, before we do anything, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Alrighty, so it's officially been two months since I've actually did any kind of gym related stuff right here on Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. This ought to be fun. And well, look, this guy is coming out with a uh, clay doll right here. 
Ladol, of course, is a very, very, very strong Pokemon. A well, defensive Pokemon. And just like that, Claydol has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty. And here comes Starmie. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Thunderball right here. As many of you guys already know, Starmie is another Pokemon that, you know, is very, very speedy. And, well, let's go right ahead and go straight for not that, but it's going to happen anyways. And that nearly defeats Starmie, so here comes the rapid spin. And that right there will get us pretty good. So let's go one more time. Let's go with the charge beam. And there we go. Okay, alrighty. Let's see, let's see. Claymore goes to level 40 or 36. And yes, you are out of sync, my friend, right there. Okay, let's go ahead and press this button and see what this is all about. What will that lead us to? Okay, so it'll lead us to her. And let's see. Oh, it won't lead us to her, but it will lead us to this chick right here. I'm getting an ominous feeling about you. Why is everybody getting an ominous feeling about us? Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on Patricia. And she will be coming out with a Chimeco. And... Yeah, I completely forgot about the whole the whole uh, poison type, or not the poison type, but the what was it called? The uh, the whole uh, psychic type to Chimeka. I always thought it was a ghost type. In fact, I always thought that it was a. I always thought that it was a what you call it. It it evolved into something else too. So here we go, surf attack, and just like this, Chimeko has been defeated. And Leviathan grows to level 46. And, well, Patricia has been defeated. And, yes, it wasn't a bad omen. I just, you know, I won. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and press this button. We might miss a battle here and there, but this will actually lead us straight towards uh, the twins. And lead us to this guy right here. Let me see your talent. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on another Kadabra. And let's go right ahead and go with a coil attack right here. This is going to get interesting because of the psychic attack that we're getting it. And, well, here we go. We're coiling up. This Pokemon is ready to go right here. And it's accuracy is grow his accuracy is growing. So let's go with a surf attack. And here comes another psychic. Holy buckets. Here we go. And just like that, Kadabra has been defeated. And well, let's see what else happens. Oh yeah, Shadow Eye for the first time in a few episodes grows a few levels. And here comes Giraffe Rig. So let's see. Hmm. You know what? Tommy JDF is going to do it. Kind of want to do it. And... Well, here we go. Giraffe Rick ready to go. Let's go right ahead and go with the Sky Uppercut. And... Just like that, Giraffe Rick has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty. Look at that. Okay, so... <laughs> It's another victory for us right there. Now we gotta get to we gotta get to the gym leader, so let's see. Yeah, we've already defeated this person. I guess we are yeah, we are we are right there. I guess we're gonna have to miss out on one battle. And look at this, it takes us straight to the gym leaders themselves. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon because this is going to be This is going to be something. So here we go, a full restore to Leviathan. And I think the next Pokemon that we need to get in there, I well, you know what, we got Thunderball, but I want to use Shadow Eye just for this. And you know what, Thunderball needs to be in this one right here too. Actually, you know what, Thunderball is a last ditch effort right here. So let's do it right here on Dragon Ball Z. Okay, so in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, or as 
The seventh gym battle is with twins, and it's for the first time ever, it is a double battle. And, uh, well, let's see. This is what these girls are going to be saying. They're going to be like, <laughs> were you surprised that there are two gym leaders? We're twins. We don't need to talk because we can tell, we can each tell what the other one is thinking. Oh, wow, that's freaky. All in our minds. Okay, this combination of ours, can you beat it? Okay, I think they're about to do the fusion dance or something. Look at this. Holy crud. Okay, so here it is, guys. Gym battle number seven. We are going up against Tate and Liza, or Liza and Tate. Whichever, uh, whichever combination way you want to see it. And here we are. It's just going to be a two-on-two -two battle. And as you guys can see, Leviathan and Sableye, or Shadow Eye, are going to be right here. So what we're going to do is a surf attack on everybody. And do, 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 Shadow Ball onto Lunatone. So let's go. Surf attack. Everybody gets hit. And would you look at that. Soul Rock has been defeated. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, yeah, here's a light screen. I guess your strategy didn't work, huh? It really didn't work. Holy crud. Okay, so here comes Shadow Ball for the win. And, uh, oh, wow. Wow, that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, so Leviathan is learning Hydro Pump. We really don't need it. Uh, throwing out the peace sign and Shadow Eye. Okay. Shadow Eye proved its worth and, well, our, our, our teamwork. Yes. What teamwork? Because holy buckets. I, it, it can't be helped that you won. So take this in recognition. Okay, guys. So here it is. Badge number seven. I am throwing out the peace sign. And, well, this one right here is the Mind Badge. It has the power to power up all Pokemon uh, up to level 80 or... All Pokemon up to level 80 will be, uh, will obey you. And let's see, it also enables you to use the HM move Dive. Also, take this, we get ourselves the TM04, that is Calm Mind. And, well, Calm Mind is basically a very, very good special move that powers up both your special attack and special defense. And that will be used, you know, for a psychic type Pokemon out there somewhere. And, well, I am not going to be reading any of this because things happen. Things are going to happen right after here. There is a panel that will take us all the way back to the very beginning. The only man that's ever believed in us is like, wow, you're astounding. You're a great trainer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so after defeating the seventh gym battle, this happens. What? A, a pillar in the light. It appeared in his, uh, from the sea. That direction. Is that the direction of one uh, Route 128? Whoa, dude. Seriously, dude. <laughs> this is the end of the world. Skitty, don't worry. Calm down. Skitty. Hmm. So, yeah. There is something going on in Route 128. And this person's like, whoa. That was like a total shocker. What the heck was that? Was that? That was a big fat pillar of light. It totally came out it came out of here, didn't it? Kinda, yeah. Uh, a little bit. Um, so... Steven recognizes us and he's gonna be like... Draven! I heard from Ty uh, from Le Liza and Ty Tate that you visited their gym. I was thinking of trying to catch you while you were in the area. But then this happened. We should talk. Let's go to my place. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Cool, cool, cool. And, well, we're going into his house, and yes, this, he's just going to be talking to us about something that's going on. He's like, ah, yes, I suppose I should welcome you to my home. Please forgive uh, the rather sparse de decor. Now, the, now we're, we're to begin. Let us take a moment to understand what is happening to our world right now. That rumbling that shook the earth just now, the eardrum rupturing explosion that we heard. They are proof that a seal, which has long hidden a deep, uh, deep undersea, has been undone at last. The super ancient Pokemon that has been sealed up beneath Route 128 since ancient times. It slept until now in a seafloor cavern. Wow, can't even speak. The entrance that 
the uh, that the cavern uh, once sealed by the power of a certain Pokemon, all in in effort to keep any Pokemon or human from ever reaching it. But now it appears that it, that the scheming of a terrible team has done, undone the seal. There is no doubt that they intend to revive the super ancient Pokemon. And once they do so, it seems they hope to make it the power of their own. Draven. If that team not obtains the power of the super ancient Pokemon, it will upset the balance of nature in the world. A crisis unlike any other before it will befall every living thing on this planet. I plan to do everything in my power to quell it in this situation. That is my duty, he said duty. But there is a limit to what I can do with my power alone. That is why I am asking you for your help. I have great faith in your abilities. Let me your strength to help put a halt to these teams' mad ambition. Like the spirit bomb? Because I can't do that. With you and I, our Pokemon, all working together, we will overcome the disastrous turn of events. I don't think it's, uh, it is out of the question. I will entrust you with this. And bam, we get ourselves a TM07 or HM07 dive. And uh, if you use dive, you will be able to d dive in the ocean floor with your Pokemon. And take this with you so you can stay with, stay with your team Pokemon even in the depths of the ocean. We get ourselves a Devon Scuba Gear, which is basically like the, the Blue Power Ranger suit. Pretty cool. If you were to use dive in the correct stretch of water along Route 128, I believe you should be able to reach the entrance of the seafloor claver clavern. Wow, I can't speak again. I will join you once I finish my duties. Please do what you can to stop Team Aqua and Team Magma. Until then, I am trusting you with this for me. Wow. With such responsibilities... That is a that is a big big uh, thing to do. So anywho, in the next episode, guys, uh, it could be one of two things. We could either go to the Shoal Cave on low tide, which I'm hoping and doing, or we could go to Route 128, which we're probably gonna be doing. So yes, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.